us right in the face and at all of you too. There's his record for you. Incidentally, I'd like to clarify something Frank said, or at least amplify rather than clarify. He said that we cannot talk to political figures. There are many of them here, such as Senator Teddy Kennedy. But under the equal time provisions, we cannot put on any politicos who are engaged in actual election campaigns at the present time. Thus, the inability to talk to them. There's Jimmy Young, as you see him, emerging now from his dressing room and about to enter the arena. Note that he has only five knockouts. He is not a power puncher. Was knocked out, and that's his worst defeat on his record, by Ernie Shavers in the first round. Yet, he did beat Ron Lyle. Unanimous decision in Honolulu a little more than a year ago. And he, of course, knocked out Richard Dunn in the eighth round, who was supposed to be Ali's next opponent come next month. Richard Dunn being the British and European heavyweight champion. Jimmy Young with a mild smile, but he's got to be at this time a little bit shaky. A 15 to 1 underdog, but with enough skill to be rated the third contender, number three, and with enough skill not to be taken as of the same quality of the likes of Jean-Pierre Goukman. So Jimmy Young now about to enter the ring, the crowd first becoming aware of his presence. There are some empty seats here. They had expected a sellout, but they do have, I would suspect, in the area of 13, 14,000 feet. A pretty good crowd. There's Jimmy in the ring. Not much crowd reaction. The fight coming up, and we'll be back at ringside in just a moment. We're back live at the Capitol Center. Muhammad Ali in his robe and his dressing room, and at long last, the champion is ready to come out to fight Jimmy Young. We've already told you about his record, about how long he's held the title. To me, the incredible thing about Muhammad Ali, the thing that makes him, in my own mind, the greatest heavyweight who has ever lived, is that he was enforcedly idled. You all remember it for three and a half years. The best three and a half years of his boxing life. Yet he came back, fought a classic fight against Frazier on March 8th of 71. Lost it, came back from that. Lost to Kenny Norton, came back from that and came back to knock out George Foreman in Zaire, recapture the crown, and then beat Frazier again in that marvelous battle in Manila. So this is a man, think of baseball players, a more sedentary sport. They lose a year, Kurt Flood couldn't make it back after staying out a year. Boxing, the most brutal, demanding of all sports. Muhammad Ali coming back after three and a half years. To me, that's the stripe of the man. That's why he is the superb champion. The tail of the tape before you now on your screen speaks for itself. The age differential, the weight differential, because Ali should not be at 230 pounds, whatever the protestations to the contrary. And it remains to be seen against a young kid who's a pretty good boxer, how long it will take him. And if this gnawing at Angie Dundee deep inside, about the memory of the fractured jaw at the hands of Kenny Norton. It remains to be seen if there's any chance of a repetition of anything like that. But an overwhelming favorite, clearly, Ali should be. On grounds of skills, experience, everything in the world going for him. Against a kid who, while a decent boxer, hasn't really been that tested and hasn't really grown that much. Now you begin the attention being given to the champion. Now the crowd sees him. Now the Raws come up. Up goes the Ali right hand. That's his brother Rachman wearing the Fez cap. Angie Dundee always close in there somewhere. Without question, Dundee is one of the smartest men I have ever known in Boston. Not just smart as a trainer. He knows how to promote a fight. The fellow with the glasses in the Fez is Ali's personal bodyguard, Pat Patterson, member of the Chicago Police Force. Now you begin to hear the crowd. What a curious and complex man, Ahmed Ali. A chameleon, capable of being gregarious, and engaging at any level of the social stratum. He is directly above us now, getting into his corner. 
And yet, with an attention span of perhaps 20 seconds, capable of changing his mood in just an instant and suddenly appearing cruel and even sadistic, such as in his displays against Patterson and Terrell. Ali now in the ring. We finally get ready for action, and we'll be back for the start of the fight in mo oh. These two men just came out of nowhere. Did you get a look at them, or... No, no. just grabbed my wallet and ran. What'd they get? All our credit cards. cards. $600 cash. Yes. It's the worst thing that ever happened to me. Protect your trip. Carry American Express Traveler's checks. If they're stolen, you can get an emergency refund even on a weekend or holiday. No other check can do that. American Express Traveler's checks. Don't leave home without them. Hello, I'm Roger Miller for Gabriel Striders with a way to save 25% on shock absorbers. You buy one, two, three Striders, and you get the fourth one free. It's Gabriel's finest three-position adjustable shock. You can custom tune to the way you drive and the ride you want. Once more, you buy one, two, three Striders, and get the fourth one free. Gabriel Striders. King of the road. The main Back at the Capitol the Center, the ring announcer Marvin Brooks is world. now addressing the crowd as we await the These start of the Ali Young fight. The supervision of the Maryland State Athletic Commission, D. Chester O'Sullivan, chairman. We're looking down now Doctor is in attendance. ceiling Charles camera. Tomasella. Steve Madigan referee in this Oaks. bout will be Tom Kelly, and we will have a mic on him as we Clemens. did during the Norton the stand up fight. Is Your ring announcer is Marv Brooks. The judges are Larry Barrett and Terry Moore. The referee is Tom Kelly. Fifteen rounds, the participants. The challenger from Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Weighing 209 pounds, wearing black trunks, Jimmy Young. His opponent, the current heavyweight champion of the world, from Chicago, Illinois, weighing 230 pounds, Muhammad Ali. Are you going to make announcements? All right, we should be getting the referee's instructions in a moment. Tom Kelly, the referee, Larry Barrett and Terry Moore, the judges, scoring on a five-point must system, mandatory eight count in effect, three knockdown rule in this fight, scheduled for 15 rounds because it's a championship fight is weight. Three knockdowns of a fighter in a given round will not automatically end the fight. And there will be no saving by the bell, except, of course, if it should go 15 in the 15th round, the bell would automatically end the fight. So that's the situation here at the Capitol Center, where at long last, we are going to have Ali against Jimmy Young. To review the Norton Stander fight, it was stopped in the fifth round. Norton okay. did a most right. workmanlike right, and Jimmy, professional Jimmy, job Jimmy, Muhammad on Ali. a far inferior opponent. Here's Tom Kelly with the instructions. All right, Jimmy Young, Muhammad Ali, I want you to both protect yourself at all times. Watch your low blows and your roughness, and I want a good, clean fight all the way. Pay attention to my instructions at all times. Like some of that grease off. Yes, sir. Like a glance. Yeah, yeah, right. Jimmy, we're going to take a little of this off. Yeah, take it off with Yeah, here. Got it. Yeah, oh. take some of it off. We'll be all right. <laughs> <laughs> Dundee is always looking for an edge. Take some of that grease paint off. Okay, I'll get it off. It's the way he operates. Okay. Jim, I've already right there. told okay, you about fine. the people yeah, in right. Muhammad's so, corner, the familiar grease. retinue. Louis Saria. The man who rubs him down, been with him for years. Drew Brown Bundini, whose principal role is that of noisemaker and friend. Dundee, the trainer. Ferdy Pacheco, the doctor. In the champion's corner, in Jimmy Young's corner, his trainer, Bob Brown. Round one, the action begins. Ali in the white trunks, Young in the black. Swing 
by Ali. All right, let him go, let him go, punch out. Yeah, Tom Kelly. Let him go, let him go, he said. <laughs> Round one. Ali against Jimmy Young and a feeling out process. Ali just covering. Young trying to get the left in there. Heard Angie Dundee say he didn't think it would end till the latter rounds. <laughs> Ali raising up the arms, telling Young to hit him to the belly. And indeed, Ali doing no punching at all in this one. Young with those pity pat jabs. Saw Lee lift the hands up and challenge him again. In at 20 and counting down in round one with little or no action. A quick right by Jimmy Young. A quick right got through to Ali. Not powerful, but it landed. It's good. In fact, Young got a left into Ali. Said he has a fair jab. There's no power. Let him go. To Come it. on, clean break. Hold it, Alan. Let's go. Let's go. Fifty seconds remaining in round one. Young gets that left jab in occasionally. Ali doing no fighting at all. Nothing whatsoever. Just keeping the gloves up in front of the face. Keep your gloves closed. Keep your gloves closed. We've had a lot of experiences with this man. It took him till the 15th to do away with Chuck Wepner, remember? He slept walk with Lyle for 10 rounds before ending it in the 11th. And that was a disputed keep ending. Up, Jimmy. Blow, blow by Jimmy Young. You heard Tommy Kelly say, keep up, Jimmy. Counting down to the end of round one. Scan action. Young's round. Ali not fighting. Round two. Ali against Young. Our ceiling shot as we open the round and then zoom down in on the fighters with an overhead shot. First round, one of those curious pieces of business that we've seen so often with Ali. No fighting at all. Adopted that pose. Young got in a number of lefts and even a fairly good right. So he had to win the round on sheer effort. Let him go, let him go, let the arms, come on, man. Once again, the mic on the referee, Tom Kelly. His words will speak for themselves. That left of Young's is getting in there. As Ali is, keeps up with this kind of tactic, Young's confidence will inevitably Punch grow. Out. Let him go, let him go, come on, man. Kelly. Let Young go, Ali. Let, Let Young go, Ali. Frazier always claimed that Ali held him. <laughs> Ali's goner is yelling to referee Tom Kelly to watch Young's low blows. quickly after him then with two quick rights. All right, let him go. Hold it, Jimmy. All right, Lally, let's go, men. Clean break. Keep him up, Jim. Keep him up. Keep, those Keep him up, Jim. Still another low blow from Jimmy Young. Come 
Keep him up, Jimmy. Keep him up. Keep those blows up. Here's Kelly again. One got a left into the midriff, which has two rolls of fat where there used to be one. See that pity fat jab? Dundee talked to me about that in our interview earlier in the telecast. Now, Ali is just saying, go ahead, hit as we count down to the end of round two. Back for round three again with our ceiling shot again zooming down from overhead. Ali's corner asking him to start fighting. Herbert Muhammad, his manager, sitting near the corner, openly disturbed. He doesn't like this kind of thing. It was he who went over to Ali's corner in the Coupon affair in Puerto Rico and said, put an end to it. Now, it's not going to be that easy with Jimmy Young because the guy's a professional fighter. Good enough to be rated number three in Ring Magazine. We don't make the ratings. He's got quick hands. I'll say that for the kid. beginning to throw a little bit of leather, at least try to, which is a change in pattern. Ali covering effectively and saying to Young, keep, keep hitting me, keep hitting me. He's talking incessantly to him, though we can't pick up the actual verbiage. Don't forget, a half hour after the fight telecast, the Derby special go, from Louisville, go, Kentucky. And tomorrow, the great race itself. Certainly America's greatest horse race and quite possibly America's greatest sports spectacle, the Kentucky Derby. Look at that. A rope of dope. Now he's asking Young to come into it. I just looked at Angie up, Dundee, asked what's happening, held up his right hand, said, wait. Well, he'll wait. Kids got quick hands. They get in there. Keep up, keep up, Jimmy. Keep up. Another on, from clean. Come on. Tom Kelly to Young to keep those blows up. Young looks so small by comparison with Ali, who's at 230. And Young is big enough at 209. Believe me, a well-built kid. New Brown Bundini now yelling, keep sticking, champ, as Ali begins to use that left jab. Keep him up, Jimmy, keep him up. But the countdown in round three. The bell for the start of round four, and Ali yet to do anything. Just a couple of left jabs in the third round. Young doesn't hit hard, but at least he's been throwing jabs, an occasional right, and the hands are pretty quick. Ali may pick it up in this round. We'll see. Let him go, let him go. There's Angelo watching the fight. All right, let him go, man. Come on, let him go, let him go. Come on, clean break. Watch it back to that. Come on. Smart as he is, he doesn't map his fighter's strategy. Cannot control him in that regard. He never felt that Ali should have used the rope of dope against George Foreman. Pleaded with him to get off the ropes. And yet it turned out Ali knew exactly what he was doing. Ali is at least throwing some leather in this round. Let him go, let him go. Come on, clean break. All right, hold it, hold it, Jimmy. Hold it, all right, hold it. Let's go. Yeah. 
All right, let him go. Come on, clean break. Come on, man. Let's go. Clean break. Fourth round action, such as it is. Ali against Jimmy Young, the heavyweight championship of the world at stake. Young has done a pretty good job of defending as Ali has begun to throw some blows in this way. Let him go, Jim. Let him go. Come on. Break. Clean break. Come on. Let's go, man. Clean break. Come on, Jimmy. Right, I'd say he's done the effective job. Ali missing. Come on, come on now. On the right and then a left. Forty-five seconds right, left in the round. Observers at ringside gave Young the first two rounds, and the third round was generally considered right, to be even. Right, right, let's go. Come on, clean break. All right, let him go. Come on, clean break, man. Come on. Of course, Young believes the longer the fight goes, the better his chance. Let him go. Come on, Younger. Watch out there. Come on. All right, let him go. Come on, punch out. Let's go, man. Come on, clean break. Come on, Jim. Let's I go. must say, referee Kelly is active. Coming up the end of the round. Round five. Fifth round action beginning again. We begin with our overhead shot. The crowd was booing the fight at the end of the last round, and I don't blame them. Heavyweight championship fight. High price seats, they're in title. Right, come on, action. let him go. Break, step out. Come on, clean break, man. Come on. Young moving around the ring, away from Ali now, as Ali begins to move. Remember, this is a big ring, a 20-foot ring. It was the very ring used in Lewiston, Maine, when Ali disposed of Liston in the first round in that very controversial right, break, step bout. Out. Come on, watch it. Come on, man. Keep it clean now. Keep it good up. Watch it. Slippery on, guy, man. Young. There's on, Jack Ford, the president's son, who's at ringside looking on. He's smiling. All right, let him go. On the surface, on, seems Clean to break. be Come enjoying on. it. Let's go, Allie. Come on. Come on. One of the few, if he is. All right, let him go. Come on, let the neck go. Come on, man. Clean break. Come on, now. Don't let me push you. Come on. Clean break. Another one of the strange things about Ali. How he can be so brilliant. Against class competition. Right, hold it, come on. Let's go, man. And, right, come uh, on, let's go. Clean break. Come not on. so brilliant. All right, Jimmy. Against lesser competition. Ali with that right, right leg. Come on, man. Come on. That clean has become break. his trademark through the years. Let him go, Jimmy. Hold it. Come on now. Punch out. Oh. All right, let him go now. Come on. Punch out. Of course, you see the protective on, belt Jimmy, being worn by Young, emerging above him, the belts of the waistline right, of his trunk. Come on, come on, punch it. Come on, come on now. Clean break. Come on, man. Come on. Come on now. Let's go. Clean break. Tommy Kelly, the referee again. 45 seconds left in round five. <laughs> yeah, Jimmy came in with a pair of good shots to the middle. Jimmy got in a left to the face. Let him go. Come on. Let him go now. Slippery kid. Moves around. Gets down low. Holds on. Ali hasn't been able to get through to him yet, although for two rounds he didn't try very hard. Ten seconds left in the fifth round. See that? Ali really tried that. It jolted him. Let's go. Watch it, Ali. Come on now. Come on. Round six underway. Crowd not at all happy with the general dearth of action up to this point. All right, let him go. Come on, clean break. Come on, man, clean break. Let's go. Watch the push.
Oh, he is missing an awful lot. Whether it's his own absence of timing or Young's defensive skills, it's a matter of conjecture. Don't forget tomorrow, the 102nd running of the Kentucky Derby. The run for the Roses. Honest pleasure, bold forms, play the red, Kojak, on the slide. Possibly a triple crown winner in either honest pleasure or bold forms. Sixth round action. Ali's corner now asking Ali to go to work, go to work. Appears to be trying. All right, break it up now. Come on, clean break. Some point in time, if you balloon up and you're in your 30s, you can stumble against an opponent taken too light. Angelo Dundee again, watch it. I'll tell you whose face isn't happy. Herbert Muhammad. In the front row at ringside. That was a pretty good right by all. Young using the ropes. Ending over. Covering up. Ali having trouble getting through those defenses. with a superior strength expecting to wear Young down Young counting on the passage of time for Ali to wear down on grounds of weight and age Ali is pushing him around now and trying to maul him a right by Ali got in there <laughs> bitty bad, bitty bad that's the way Angie described it all right, man, and break the pre fight in it. That's not a very on, enticing on, scene or exciting. Countdown for the end of round six. Round about to end. Now go to your corner. Round seven underway. Bell just sounded. Between rounds, Ali go, right on, over us, bantering with the crowd, but the crowd exhorting him to do better. Last round, actually, Ali did do better. Most around ringside have the fight. At this point, basically even giving the last two let rounds go, to on, Ali. Up, these are all unofficial come on, scores. Let go, come on, let him go, man. Come on. So far, we haven't seen one single right lead get through. Ali tried that. Jimmy Young responded. With his own right and left. Up in the gallery, they begin to get a little excited over that. See the way Young drops down low, bends over, covers up. That left gets into Ali. Then a right got in. I'm not telling you this young man is punching hard, but I'm telling you on the basis of what fighting we've seen, he has scored fairly well. Fight! Certainly Ali hasn't. <coughs> Ali missing again. Did you notice? With the right. Kid slips punch as well. Ali misses with the left. Sluggish. Off time. And the opponent is quick. All right, come on. Punch out. Let him go, come on, punch out, man, you're free. Come on. Well, I've used up two minutes of this round. See that flicking jab of Young's? Come on, punch out, man, you're free, punch. Left cut, look at the way Young goes. Falls down. Crouches over in half. I don't see 
Young moving the way he did in the earlier rounds. Maybe the strength of Ali. Wait. Left gut in there by Young. Let him go. Come on, man. Punch out. You're free. Come on, punch out. After this pause for station identification, we'll be back. Round eight. Round eight begins. Round eight, and in Ali's corner, they're exhorting him to do more. Who knows? Maybe he's trying quickly there. Couple of rights. Come on, all right, Ali. Come on, let's clean break, man. Come on. All right, Jimmy, let's go now. Watch the arm. Tom Kelly, an active referee, controlling the bout. Good position, quick instruction. All right, come on, let him go. Let the arms go. Come on, men, punch out. Come on, let the arms go. Come on, that's it. Referee Mike for this occasion. Keep him up, Jimmy. You don't right, see those blows landing of Ali's. Off in his timing. The arms without snap. The punches apparently no snap. Jimmy Young with only 23 fights behind him. 17 victories, four defeats, two draws. Trained as a Philadelphia fighter. Trains in Joe Frazier's gymnasium. Philadelphia fighters, boxers, counter punchers. to get the right in there. Young's left was up and watered it off. Look at Young. He's got a right, right into the Ali chest. He is growing and growing in confidence. Ali got a flicking jab in there. Young is fighting well. Oh, that left moved him back for a moment. Young coming in with a right. Come on, man. Let's go. Clean break. Come on, On the side of the neck. Let's go, man. Countdown in round eight. How many of you ever heard of Jimmy Young? How many of you thought the fight would go this far? Look at that. All right, watch your arms. Come on. Ali trying in a sense a double right lead and missing. Young in there with the right. Young dancing, moving around. Ali flat footed. Coming to the end of round eight. There is quiet in the champion's corner. See the way Young again curls up on the ropes. Ali is having all kinds of trouble reaching this kid, penetrating. Young moving away. The young man, he's far from used up. The end of the round upon us. Bell, go to your corner. We're underway in round nine. Putting this fight in perspective thus far, Ali has tried to become the aggressor in the recent three or four rounds. Young has been effective defensive. It is unofficially at ringside, scored up to this point a close fight. However, Young has surprised everybody, and Ali has not fought compelling. Whether it's look at Young, Ali after him, and the kid curls up again. Let's go, man. Come on, watch the arm. Watch the arm. Remember, Jimmy Young is rated number three in Ring Magazine. There are various rating systems, but Ring is the most respected. Protect yourself, Jim. Got to number three on the basis of his victory over Lyle. Unanimous decision. Lyle couldn't get to him either. And on the basis of his knockout of Richard Dunn. Look at that. Two quick jabs landed by Jimmy Young. He's dancing. Ali is now dancing. Ali on his toes. Ali has the edge and reach, and yet Young is getting to him occasionally with those jabs. Ali dancing. It's the ninth round. Stick it as corner keeps yelling. 
Look at Jimmy Young challenging Ali. Go dance, he says to him in that effect. Confidence that we saw before the fight was real, not imagined. I told you it's a counter punch after each Ali blow. You see him try to counter. Look at Ali. The kid's dancing away from him. Steadily. Interesting, isn't it? Now the fight. You saw that counter punch right by Young. That's a counter punch. Coming down to the end of round nine. Ali gets a left in. 49 seconds, 48, counting down. Will not break for a commercial at the end of this round. We'll show you the earliest sequence. This is the most interesting round of all because Ali is dancing in the old style. He's trying to get to Young, no question about it. Unable to do so. Young fighting cleverly. Effective defensively and good counter punch. There he took the lead with two left. Almost the end of round nine. Ali getting in with those flicking lefts near the end of the round. Let's follow Jimmy Young, his arms upraised. The crowd loving, loving him at the moment. They don't care what's going on in there, whether it's Ali out of shape or Young's effectiveness. Let's look at that earlier sequence in round nine again. Ali bouncing, dancing. Young with the counter punch right over the left, attemptedly delivered by Ali. Young into the midriff. Ali the one holding there, not hurt. Let's be clear about that. Young has not shown any evidence of power. Then. What he's shown is clever tactics. Good fight plan. And the ability to carry it out. Ali not sitting between rounds. Seconds out, clear the ring, clear the ring, seconds. We await the start of round 10. Crowd has suddenly come alive. They knew Ali was trying very hard last round to get to Young. Ali quickly on his toes again, dancing, where with an overhead shot. Don't forget tomorrow, the Kentucky Derby, live right here on ABC, America's greatest thoroughbred race. And what a sports spectacle it is. Ali moving now, steadily dancing around. Left missed. Angelo Dundee in your lower right hand corner looking on. Jimmy Young with a half smile on his face. Drew Brown Bundini yelling away, stick him, champ. Well, I've never seen Ali miss with so many laughs in a given fight in my life. Even the time Norton shattered his jaw, Ali got in some lefts with consistency. See that counter punch? When Ali throws that left, back comes Jimmy Young. That left got to Jimmy. Tenth round action. Yes, we're in the tenth round if you joined us late. And Jimmy Young got in with a right there, and Jimmy Young is fighting well. Has been from the beginning. Pity pat, pity pat, pity pat to the mid rip Jimmy Young doing the pity pat. Let the next go. Come on, man. Let's go. Ali, last round in this round, circling steadily to the left on his toes, occasionally switching back to the right. The old Ali style for the three and a half years away from the ring. attempted counter punch miss. Jimmy tried to lead with two lefts, both missed. <laughs> oh, 
Well, he has not gotten a really sharp blow into Young. I don't believe in this entire fight. I wonder what Kenny Norton is thinking. If Ali should lose, as a matter of fact, Kenny was supposed to join me at ringside within the last round or two. His manager won't let him. Too much at stake because if Ali should... That's the end of the round. The 11th round is underway. I was making the point as the last round ended that Norton's manager now doesn't want Kenny to join us. He's worried about this fight, worried that Ali could use the decision and Norton's big shot for the big money would go out the window for a decent time at least. More time lost for Kenny Norton, so he doesn't want Kenny here. Fight goes on. Round 11. They're yelling at Ali from Ali's corner that it's round 11. As if Ali could turn it on at any time. So far, there's been no evidence that he can. No evidence that Jimmy Young, who got a light right then from Ali, bounced off the ropes, had a half smile on his face. His concentration supreme. Watch your arms, Jimmy watch your arms, Young. Right. Come on, let's go. Come he on, has stuck to court. his let's battle go. plan all the way. Tom Kelly right in there, get the blows up. Good right. A good right lead by Ali. That's probably his best blow in the fight. All right, man, hold it. Come on, watch the push. Come on, come on, watch the push. Come on. He's tired, Ali. He's tired. Ali's corner is yelling that Young is tired. We'll see. Both fighters miss. Young with a couple of left jabs. Let him go, man. Come on, come on. Let the arms go. Come on, let him go. Benjamin close there yelling to Ali from his corner. Look at Dundee in the lower right corner of your screen. Ali isn't able to catch him in close, or hasn't been able to all night. This kid's defenses have been excellent. See that miss? Kid slipped the punch with the movement of his head. Does that very well. Has been doing it all night. Rahman Ali just yelled over from the corner as he did in the Ron Lyle fight. You're looking at, you're losing, Muhammad. You're losing. He did that in the Lyle fight in the 11th round, and this is the 11th round. It was then that Ali did away with Lyle in that disputed ending. But I don't know about this youngster, Jimmy Young. All of Ali's plans, a busy year. The end of the round. The crowd now booing Ali. We're over Ali and his gun. Still not on a stool, leaning over the ropes. He's tired. His people exhorting him on. Here comes Kenny Norton now. We're getting Kenny Norton in here with us. All right, Kenny Norton is with me now. He's getting a mic on. You see him right next to me. Kenny, what do you make of this thing so far? Well, I think so far it's just a matter of Ollie being out of shape and Young being in shape. Uh-huh. You give the edge to Young so far? I wouldn't say the edge. I would say that... Uh, close fight. He's very close fight. He's getting more confidence as long as the fight goes. Okay. Kenny Norton will be sitting next to us for the rest of this bout. Round 12 under white. This fight means a lot to Kenny Norton, quite frankly, as I've explained. He wants Ali to win. It's a big money thing for Kenny Norton in the future, whereas there would be a further wait if Ali were to lose. General scoring at ringside has the fight very close. 
with everybody surprised at Young's performance and in a way equally surprised by Ali's performance. Let the arms go, come on, men. Let the arms go, come on. Punch out, Ali, come on. Punch out, let them go, Jimmy. Let the arms go, come on. Let the net go, Jim. Are you so astonished to see Ali look like this, Kenny? Oh, uh, yes, I am. He doesn't have his on, fast Punch hands, the flurries, no not countering, nothing. Sluggish. And Young's a very good counterpuncher. Remember he talked to Ali and I said he had right. a good counter with a jab? He's doing that counter. Kind of doing it very effectively. We've commented on it. Have the... you ever seen Ali miss so often? No, I haven't. The longer the fight goes, the more confidence Young gets. Those of you joining us late, this is round 12. Muhammad Ali against Jimmy Young for the heavyweight championship of the world. As Kenny Norton sitting next to me has just confirmed, I've been talking about it all night, Ali is sluggish, out of shape, has been missing constantly. The swiftness of hands doesn't seem to be there. No snap in the punches. Jimmy Young in superb shape with a good battle plan, excellent defenses, and effective counter punching. So the fight is very close indeed. Very close. How do you have it scored up till now, Kenny, in your own mind? Well, I have to say the fight is a very close fight. Uh, I still think Ali has the edge because of his number one, he's a champion, and his superiority. He, he, he looks, he, you, know, he's, you can see he's a better fighter. Young's gaining more confidence, he's countering punches, so he's not far behind. And a good quick flurry, a good rally could pull it out for him. Ali trying there, landing to the left. Young quickly moving back. Young has used the ropes effectively tonight. Look at him cover. Ali can't get through. Ali trying to overpower him now. Oh, he's trying to overpower him, but there's nothing in Ali's punches. Nothing at all, Ken. I couldn't agree with you more. No snap to those punches. I'll the world with you. You can't be 34 and balloon up and not train, and it's become harder and harder for Ali to train. His heart has gone out of it. He's been fighting for the money only. You can understand him doing that. No quarrel with that, but you've gotten this business, and nobody knows it better than Ali, to train, to be ready. For any opponent, Let him go. Come on. Both of you. the Let countdown him go. continues for round 12. Come on. How it couldn't be for the money only because he and Frazier had one heck of a fight. That, what, that was Frazier against, against the end of the round. We'll talk more, Ken. Kenny, we're going to slow-mo that flurry by Ali. Then I want to talk to you about that. Ali would kill himself training for you, for Joe Frazier. There's that flurry. Let's look at it again. It happened right above us, in Ali's corner. Young against the ropes. And Ali now trying to overpower him, but without the old snap to the punches. And without the timing. Look at that miss. Then the left got in there. Timing is completely gone, Kenny. Well, it just shows that if you can't, you know, fight a man like this, he has good eyes and not train. That's right. It's, it's very obvious he didn't train very hard for this fight. Overconfidence again. But I made the point early on for you, for Foreman, for Frazier. That's the mistake he made tonight, not training. He awesome. underrated this kid. This kid's a Philadelphia fighter. That's very true. Uh, Ron Lyle also underestimated uh, this young man. That's right. That's what happened to Ron Lyle, and that's why Young beat him up. kind of tactic. I never saw it. The fighter tried to use the ropes that way by going halfway through. He wasn't knocked through, Kenny. The first time I've seen that, Howard, I can't answer that one for you. <laughs> geez, Look at this. See, but he's, off, he's, off, he's winning the crowd over by doing this. Because <laughs> he's winning the crowd over by doing this. Because you can't hit the man once he's through the rope. Not, that's not going to score points for him. 13th round action, a weird scene. Twice, Young has put himself between the ropes in this round. Twice. Watch a push in Ali desperately trying to overpower the younger man now. We've got a minute 50 seconds left in the round. Round 13. Do you think now that Young is getting a little tired from the superior weight and strength of Ali? That's very true. Ali has used his weight on the man's back a few times. 
then again, Young is also gaining more confidence. Ali's expending his energy, and Young knows this. Now you see Young dancing back on his toes. Young has slipped punches with his head very effectively tonight, Kenny. That's very true. Uh, Young and I were together for the second Ali fight, and he's a very, he has a very good eye, very quick hands. He's very determined now. He's getting more confidence the longer the fight goes. You just saw the graphic. The run for the roses. 100 second time around tomorrow on ABC. In the home of the twin spires, Churchill Downs. This is 13th round action, believe it or not. Fight goes on. Let him go. You know, if we weren't up to the 13th round with a close fight like this, you would have been reading Ali was doing this for challenge. Go, man. Come on, I read that fight. in a couple of columns this morning, that he was going to tease the lad for television. It's not for television now, it's for Ali's title, I'll tell you. You agree, Kenny? Yes, I do, Howard. But then again, remember you were talking to me earlier about the people I was fighting, like the Ron Sanders? That's right. What can you say about this? You can Ali, Ali really underestimated this young man. You saw him count a punch with a flurry, a combination. It just proves you can never underestimate someone. That's right. The end of round 13. Now the crowd is really getting excited. They sense a repeat of San Diego. March 31, 1973. Hold it, hold it, Howard. Hold it, hold it now. Now wait. <laughs> That's when you surprised us all. I underrated you, Ali underrated you, the whole world underrated you. You proved to be some kind of pro fighter. Let's look at this replay. Young, backing off. Take it from there, Kenny. Okay, as you can see here, Ali is stalking him, but then again, it, he has nothing in his punches. You know, he's, he's flicking them out. He might be landing, but nothing's happening. And Young, you know, nothing's there at all. Missing, see that? Missing. Timing, timing's way off. Oh, totally. Young has a very good eye of punches. Look at that. Those counter punches. The left and the right combination score. Time is definitely off. It comes from not boxing and not working. Right. It's telling it like it is, Ken Norton. Mm -hmm. Round 14. I think that Young's going to come on strong with the last two rounds because he knows that he can burn Ali out. All right, watch your arms. Come on, punch up. You know how many months this could cost you if Young gets the decision, Kenny? How many months and how much money? Exactly. <laughs> and the title. All right, hold it. Hold it. All right, now, let's go. Ali, Ali come plunging on, after. Let's go. Ali desperately trying to be the aggressor in the later rounds of the fight. Ali's come trying to throw the big on, punch heavy punches. He's not a heavy puncher. Go. Young's slipping and trying to counter back on them. And he's making Ali lunge. He's not used to lunging. Ali is a pinpoint puncher. That's correct. The only thing bad about this is Young doesn't have the power to hurt Ali. He can box with him, but he can't he hurt him. not a puncher. Only five knockouts and the 17 victories. Talking next to me, of course, is Kenny Norton, the number one rated contender. The man who expected Ali to win easily tonight. And then he, Norton, would get his chance after the proposed affair in Germany next month and then the thing with the wrestler the following month. Ali's plan so carefully laid. His last year of fighting it was supposed to be. We are not saying he has lost this fight. I agree with Kenny Norton. It's a close fight. I've said that all night. It's a hard thing to take a man's title away. You saw that kind of right. punch right. right. I don't That's jab. what Young has been doing so effectively all night. An excellent counter punch. And I feel that if Young lasts this round, which I think he's going to do, that the next round he's going to try to open up the flurry. Let the next go, man. Come on, let the next go. Rockman Ali, Drew Brown Bundini, Angie Dundee, Ferdy Pacheco. Gene Kilroy, all sitting in the corner. Don't know what to say about it. Ready for check -out. Good right fight again by Jimmy Young. Young landing all over. Young going in contact. Young pouring on Muhammad Ali in round 14. That 
blow missed, but it excited the crowd. This kid is coming on in confidence, in strength. He's not afraid, never was. That's another part of his success tonight. He's definitely a spoiler. Yes, he is. End of the round. The start of round 15, the crowd going wild, the fight is touched, gloves. Norton, Kenny Norton next to me. Between rounds was exhorting Ali right above us. Don't blow my shot, Muhammad. Again, Young uses the tactic of going between the ropes. Dundee desperately yelling at referee Tom Kelly. Ali misses, lunging wild. As Norton said, he's a pinpoint puncher. He is not a lunger. Tonight he's missed left jab after left jab more than I've seen him miss in the entirety of his career. Ali just nodded at Kenny Norton between rounds when Norton said don't blow. That's very true. I, I, I feel that Ali will come through. He's been known to come through in the last round, especially when the guns are down. He and cannot I, score with that left, Kenny. The timing is totally off. That's very true. Right now he has to get the man against the rope and come up with the, with the body shots and the flurries. Hodge. Missed with the uppercut. Missed again with, with two lefts. Right hand. Missing with everything. Being made to look like no part of the great champion he has been and the great fighter he has been. Fighting against a man without the power to knock him out to even hurt him. It's the amazing part of it. Jimmy Young, look at that, Kelly now telling Jimmy, come on, the only thing that can cost Jimmy Young is the frequency of defensive tactics, in my mind, Kenny, because I think you made an effective point, taking a title away from the man. That's very true, Young, I, I said before, he's got a, he's a good counterpuncher, and we were speaking of the Lyle fight, and he counterpunched Lyle the whole night, he was doing everything the Lyle didn't expect, and with Ali, Ali's doing the same thing, he's a very determined we're man. We're almost at the end of the fight. 15th round. This decision is going to be very, very interesting. There is confusion at ringside among the experts on their official scores. Every time Ali throws one punch, Young throws back two. That's right. How do you score it now? We're coming to the end of the fight, Ken Norton. Whom would you give the decision to? I refuse to answer in the Fifth Amendment, Howard. I want Ali to win, but then again, Young's fighting a very good fight, very courageous, and it can go either way now, I think. But to beat the champion, you have to beat him big and decisive. Ali with a left. Ali trying to come down with a right. Back of Young's head. We're down to seconds now. The fight will have gone the limit. The crowd yells as Jimmy Young gets in a left. We're at the end of the fight. Jimmy Young has not only gone the distance, he has put up some fight. And in just a moment, we'll be getting the decision. The crowd is standing and cheering for Jimmy Young. His trainer, his pair of managers, management partners, Jack Levin and Ray Kelly, are all over. Young thinks he has won this fight. Look at the joy, the elation in his corner. We await the decision. Dundee, a sour face, you can understand it. Bundini, the disappointment apparent. We'll be back with the decision in a moment. Where's... I'm hearing you, where's the hand? All right, we're in the ring. Muhammad Ali is combing his hair, an old familiar scene. In Jimmy Young's corner, there is the general feeling with a handheld camera on him that he will get the decision. If so, a more stunning upset than Kenny Norton over Ali back in 73. If so, the end of all of the immediate plans for Ali to collect all the millions of dollars. But that's if so. Now, ladies and gentlemen, the decision. Here is the decision. Judge Larry Barrett has it 70-68, Ali.
That's Referee one for Muhammad Ali. has it, 72-65, Ali. Muhammad Ali is still the heavyweight Ali champion of the world. Has it, 71-64, Ali. A unanimous decision. I'm standing with Jimmy Young, and he doesn't believe the decision. Now they're mobbing Ali as the crowd boos the decision. Muhammad Ali gets a unanimous decision as the heavyweight champion of the world retains his title here in Landover, Maryland. Now, as you can see, we are in difficult straight. A handhold cameraman trying to get through to me. Get back, please, all of you. Muhammad, wait. You realize that you did not fight well tonight. I'm not picking on you. Let's be clear. You're right. Were you worried that you had lost the decision? No. I know I won the decision, but I knew it would be close. I um, didn't really train too hard. As you know, I was too heavy. I'm fighting again next m month. A fella who is much rougher, but not as fast. Then I'm fighting the Japanese wrestler. First of all, I want to thank Almighty God, Allah, and I salam alaikum to all the Muslims and my great leader, the Honorable Wallace D. All Muhammad. right. I repeat, you would... I salam alaikum to my great leader, the Honorable Wallace D. Fine. Muhammad. My but you have admitted you were out of shape. Did you learn a lesson no, tonight? No, I'm not out of shape. I couldn't go 15 rounds out of shape with that young man. I learned a lesson that I played too much in training. I didn't train as hard as I should, but I got by like I wanted to, really. Hey, for him to be close. Hello to my mother, my Miss Odessa Clay out there in Louisville, Kentucky, and hello to Dick Gregory, who's out there running to make the people conscious of starving people in the world. He's running from Los Angeles to uh, New York, and I think that's a greater man than I am. Okay, I have never seen you so often your timing. I'm Missing old, so Howard. many lefts and I'm right. Old. That's why I'm quitting this year. If I can get by this year, I want to thank, say a prayer to everybody to the great Stephen Fetch, who's in Michael Reese Hospital out there in Chicago also. But what about a fighter of the caliber of Kenny Norton who can punch where Jimmy well, Young Norton can? Kenny Norton tonight, I probably would have lost. I'll be down to about 200 and about 15 pounds for Norton. 15 pounds lighter than tonight. And this is one reason I didn't work too hard tonight because I'm preserving energy, energy for people like Norton also. All right. Good luck to you. Congratulations. But it was not one of your great performances. Well, Allah bless me. I salam alaikum to my great leader, Arma Wallace Muhammad. Okay. Good luck to you, champ. Now we're going to try to get Jimmy Young, a young man who thought that he had won the fight. Is Jimmy Young still in the ring? No, apparently he has left the ring. Ali is about to leave the ring. And the crowd is not greeting him the way they greeted him when he first came into this ring tonight. But he won an unanimous decision. And he had to have done it on what the referee and the judges considered aggressiveness. He did admit in the post-fight conversation that he wasn't in good shape. And then he tried to recant on that. 230 pounds. That's an awful lot of weight for him. And also 34 years of age. The mist blows. The happiest man hereabouts is Kenny Norton. He is the happiest man. Tonight's telecast was produced in association with Don King Productions. Travel arrangements made through. Promotional fee paid by United Airlines. United with wide body 747s to Hawaii. More people fly the friendly skies to Hawaii than any other airline. Once again, the world heavyweight champion is Muhammad Ali, winner on an unanimous decision. This has been a presentation of ABC Sports, recognized around the world as the leader in sports television.